what's up guys welcome back to this channel but if this is your first time of visiting kindly hit on the red subscribe button guys we have a very pathetic story if you could remember jimmy johnson who played okoro in the village my headmaster he died at 18. the nigerian film industry has experienced yet another loss of our one of his movie veterans it has gathered that veteran actor Jimmy Johnson, popularly known as Okoro and the village headmaster, has passed on. The actor reportedly died at the age of 80. This year, 2020, has come with a lot of ups and downs. The entertainment industry in particular has experienced the loss of a number of great talents. The Nigerian film industry recently suffered a great loss after it was gathered that one of his movie veterans has passed on. According to the reports reaching us, Jimmy Johnson died yesterday. Johnson was popularly known for his role as Okoro in The Village Headmaster, a well-known TV series on NTA in the 80s. He is said to have been 80 years old at the time of his death. Johnson reportedly passed on in the early hours of July 8, 2020, at Gaki Hospital in Abuja after a brief illness. We say, May his soul rest in peace. Amen. The Village Headmaster was the longest running series on Nigerian television. The original series, The Village Headmaster, ran from 1968 to 1984. Then the second series, ran from 1985 to 1991. There has been talk of doing a third series since 2001, but it has not been done. The village headmaster introduced a lot of words and phrases into Nigerian English, and some of these words are even used by people that were born after the series ended. A gossip is known as amibo, a bowed head, a bowed headed or close shaving person is known as Gorimpa. An evil shop owner is known as Okoro. And people still use chief, a lame cash, cash phrase like immediate effect and automatic alacrity, nonsense and ingredients, and so on. The show was so popular that it was talked about by presidents, coup plotters, and newspaper columnists. The village headmaster was General Gowon's February show, and it was rumored that the MBC often showed rapists when he was out of the country, so that he wouldn't miss new episodes of the show. Major Adewale, one of the January 1966 coup plotters, referred to the show in his book, Why We Stalk, and President Olusegun Obasanjo requested for copies of the show when he visited the NTA to commission some facilities in 2001. Obasanjo's request led to comments by some NTA officials and former members of the cast and crew of the show that a third series would be, would be made. The Village Headmaster was first produced as a radio play for the Western Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation, NWBC Ibadan, in 1958. Most of the people that produced the radio play eventually worked for the Nigerian television service NTS in Lagos and they decided to turn the radio play into a TV drama series. It debuted on the TV in 1968. The original TV series ran from 1968 to 1984. I had an uncle and an auntie who worked on the original series. Everybody called her by her scream name. The theme music was composed by Kei Ide, and it was one of my favorites. It was done with a gong and, series, and several talking drums. Its dental music, with a similar melody, was later done with a saxophone. It's, a, it's indeed a pity that one of the actors of the popular TV series left, left us. And it's a pathetic story. We condole with the family of the seas and say may his soul rest in peace. Amen. You too can as well drop your condolences at the comment section. Please do well subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell icon to get notified whenever we make any upload. See you in my next video. Thank you.
Thank you.